Howdy from Long Haul. So uh, I was watching the, started doing this video a couple days ago and I was watching the video and I was like, man, I'm really long winded. So I'm going to kind of try to break it up into two parts. So if you, uh, if you just want to see the stuff that I'm doing without the explanations uh, or with shorter explanations, just go to part two. Uh, this is part one, the intro to part one of how to, uh, yeah, put up a truss by yourself, or at least how I do it. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not, but it's working okay for me. Um, anyway, yep. Howdy from Long Haul. It's October 30th, 2013. Um, so I'm building this thing over here, uh, sawmill, garage, canopy, thingy, whatever. I get, we bought a band sawmill, so I want to, uh, have a place to uh, put that mill and mill under a roof. So um, it's one of the biggest, most expensive pieces of equipment we have. So uh, I just figured, all right, well, I build, better build this structure to cover it. And I was going to build something a lot smaller. And then somebody uh, gave me these uh, trusses, these 22-foot trusses that you see up here. And I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll build it 22 by whatever. And then it got kind of bigger and bigger and decided to do, there's 10 trusses, so I decided to do three-foot centers. And so it's going to be 27 by 22 feet when it's done. You can kind of see that. And, uh, you know, this is the first time I've ever used trusses. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about trusses. Uh, I had a heck of a time yesterday trying to put one up by myself, uh, the first one or I've actually got two up there right now. You can't really tell, but I'll show you in a second. Um, and I did get them up, obviously, but uh, I had a heck of a time with it. Um, and so I was, like, really frustrated, and I was like, ah, I'm going to look on YouTube and see, like, what videos, like, cool people have put on to, you know, like, tell people how to do things, like, put up trusses, you know. And so I found all these, like, how to put up trusses videos. And every video I saw, like, you know, <clears throat> at least two, um, two people working. So I was like, well crap, I wanted to find a video where just one person was working, or maybe there were some videos with one person, but they were putting up really small trusses, not like 22-foot trusses. Anyway, so I wanted to find a video that was like how to do it on your by yourself, because, I mean, I got a friend who kind of lives here, but he's at work during the week, and, you know, I just want to get this done, and I don't want to wait around for him, and uh, my wife is eight months pregnant with our baby, so, and she's taking care of our two-year-old, so you know, I kind of kind of just got to get it done by myself somehow. So I was like, anyway, I talked to my friend about, you know, he was putting up trusses on his uh, house with his dad, and still he had two people, but he kind of gave me an idea of, like, how to do it. So I didn't really have, like, all of these exact ideas, but um, I'm kind of, like, figuring it out as I go about how to do, how to apply those ideas and do them by myself. So this video I'm going to attempt to show you how I put these up and and then I'm gonna there's also another thing most of the videos I saw on YouTube it showed people putting up trusses after they already had several trusses up which that seems like the easy part to me because you've already got like you know your roof together and you've got a place to like stand up there to put up the truck anyway this is the hardest part is getting the first couple up there and getting them secured so I've kind of I've got an idea I've never done it before I don't really know what I'm doing but we'll see if this works uh, first, I'm gonna... Okay, for some reason my camera stopped recording there. That's okay, though. Anyway, I was almost done talking. Anyway, what I was going to say was that I'm going to show you or try to describe how I actually put these up. So uh, what I did was, so I'd have them upside down like this, and I put one end up there, and then uh, this one I'm going to just walk up the ladder because I got like, like as you can see, these walls aren't actually attached to anything except for they have like uh, these concrete posts with a piece of rebar sticking up through them so and then they have some braces uh, but that's the only thing that's holding them from doing this back and forth so I was a little nervous about putting a ladder up there so uh, you see that giant tripod back there I've got a pulley from that and I actually raised this these trusses uh, the this end of these trusses um, by using a pulley and bringing them up over the edge here so anyway that's how I got those up there but this one I've got a the tripod leaning up against the uh, the wall for extra bracing so I'm just gonna walk them up the ladder because I saw some people doing that and I was like ah you know that'd be easier so anyway um, 
yeah, I got those up there, and they were upside down, obviously. And then what I did was I secured this 2x4. It was kind of tricky to do, but I climbed up on this ladder over here. Uh, it was over here at the time. And I secured it uh, sticking straight up, you know, like, because it was upside down. So, and then I just kind of tried pulling, you know, like, the, using it as a lever, pulling it down and around. And, you know, I only had one truss up there at first, and I was like, you know, it felt like the frickin' thing was going to snap. Because the thing, and this is the thing I don't like, think I like about trusses. Trusses are only strong in, uh, you know, they're only strong in the way that they're supporting weight, like, um, vertically or whatever. If you, if you have them, like, like flopped halfway, they, they feel like they're going to, I mean, I thought I was going to break the thing in half. These are old trusses, too. I mean, these are salvaged from a project, like, you know, who, kn who knows how long ago. So anyway... I decided if I put two trusses together and screwed them together, which is what I've got there, I've got a gable end truss and a regular truss, that, and they're screwed together, as you can see, it's uh, two, two by fours thick, that I could get away with that. So I did, I put, I put the second one up there the same way, and I screwed them together, and then I screwed that piece of uh, two by four to, it in two, to them in two places. I used the two by four as a lever as I was walking down the ladder to pull them around. And then, to secure it, I just uh, used some poles, screwed them um, together in a tripod. So, with that being a tripod, see, um, this thing can't move I either which way. So, that's the only thing, that tripod is the only thing that's holding these from flopping over and, you know, doing something crazy. So, uh, now, now what's the next step? I don't know. So, I was trying to think about this, and I was like, ah, how am I going to you know, do this, and I finally got this idea that maybe what I should do is I should just do the same thing with two more trusses, right, and put them six feet apart, because I'm going to do three foot centers, actually three foot one, but close enough, anyway, six foot two, um, you know, from, from uh, this truss here, you know, so like, you know, I'm going to put it over right about there, um, then flop them over the same way, and, uh, then just, you know, hold them up the same way, and then tie them together with, uh, just tie two of the, not, not all four of the trusses, but tie uh, two of the trusses together with nails or screws or whatever, and with, uh, w with some of the purlins. And then it should be, you know, secure enough to start to move these around. And obviously I'd put this one that's in the middle, you know, in the middle there then. And then the next one, the one on the outside here, after I unscrew them and whatnot. I don't know if I'm making any sense or not. Does this make any sense? Anyway, um, so I'm going to attempt to uh, videotape myself doing all or most or some of this. Or, you know, at least the first part. So, okay, here we go. First truss is up and upside down.
on the wrong side. Yeah, that's how I physically get the trusses up there. I'm going to make sure this thing's still recording because it's going to be kind of weird. And uh, I'm going to stop for a minute and then reposition the ladder and then I'm going to screw them together. You know, I'm sure nobody's watching this video to learn how to screw two pieces of wood together, so I'm going to just turn the camera off for a little while, and I'll get back when uh, the important, interesting stuff's happening. Okay, bye. Okay, so I got it screwed together. The two trusses, that is, are screwed together. Um, so now I'm going to screw a lever board, a lever 2x4, to the trusses, or try to. And I hope that this camera works, because it's giving me problems. Okay, so that uh, that video took late. That took way too long to screw on that lever board, and that video was really boring. Uh, so I'm gonna skip that video part of that. Just assume I went ahead and did that. Um, and that's gonna be the end of part one of uh, how to put a truss up by yourself. Um, so check out part two. And uh, yeah.